Welcome back to Ian and Jill's Two Up Motorcycle Adventures. On day 68 the sun was shining as we left our accommodation in Jolster. We had a relatively short journey, 150 kilometres to Vanisnes, but at the end of the journey we had a ferry crossing so that would add a little bit of time to the journey. Our first scheduled stop was just a few minutes outside of Ski where we had had our dinner the previous evening. On our way to the next scheduled stop, which was the viewpoint for a glacier on top of the mountain, we stopped briefly to see this small waterfall. Our next stop was the Glacier Centre. We didn't actually go in, but we did say hello to the mammoths. One stop was very peaceful, hardly a sound, as we surveyed the fjords from a height. But then a little further along the road, we would come across a roaring waterfall. When we stopped for coffee, we met another couple of Norwegian motorcycles, father and daughter, and spent a little bit of time discussing with them the best routes for the next couple of days. They advised us of some great passes. It was just a short ferry trip, less than 30 minutes, across the fjord from Hela to Vangenes, where we were staying for two nights. The accommodation itself was up to the usual standard, really good. And since our host was out of town, we were met by his friend Peter, who showed us into the accommodation. And then a living area. Through here we have the bedroom and finally I think up here we have a shower room with the all-important washing machine. The village near where we're staying has just one restaurant and it happens to be a Thai restaurant but it turns out Thai food's very nice. While we were having dinner, there was a downpour, but thankfully it stopped before we were heading home, because we hadn't brought any waterproofs with us. Last night, after advice from some Norwegian motorcyclists we met at a cafe yesterday, we had planned a very ambitious route for today to take in some quite high mountain passes in the area. 
But when we looked at the weather forecast this morning, we decided to abandon that plan and do something a little bit less ambitious. There were some bright spells, so we did a little bit of sightseeing around Vic. The next morning was fine weather, so we set off for Hemsedal. We gained height quite quickly as we headed up the valley above Vic. Since we were still in Norway, it wasn't long before we came across another amazing waterfall. So we stopped to take a few more photographs. When we reached the plateau at the top of the mountain near Vos, we decided to do a setup of a shot taking the bike coming along the road with both of us on it. It took a little bit of time to set up, but it was nice to have as a memory. It was time to set off again in search of more waterfalls and more joyful roads. From her vantage point beside the waterfall, Jill videoed me riding down into the valley and then back up again. Unfortunately, from that distance and with a wide angle lens, the bike is just a speck, but you might be able to just spot it down there.
awesome, absolutely amazing view. And you know what? If if the locals hadn't informed us about this road, we would have been straight through a tunnel underneath, which would have been tragic. Absolutely. We have met a lovely couple from Barbados whose <laughs> eldest son was born in Ireland. That's right. And yeah. what are your names? Stanley. Harriet. Matt Stanley Donald. and Harriet. And you are also travelling around Norway and just booking one night in advance. One night in advance. Sometimes one hour in advance. <laughs> <laughs> we started in Denmark, Copenhagen. Okay. And then we went over to Sweden. Sweden. We did Stockholm. And then we moved over to Oslo. And we've been driving from Oslo ever since. So okay. we're going to drive back to Oslo and then we'll be we made flight over to Helsinki for a couple of days and then we'll back. Very good. Very good. Very nice good. meeting you guys. Yeah. Nice. The next morning we set off for Oslo. On the way we had to stop several times to take pictures of the almost perfect reflections in the river. When we stopped for a break in Flaw we met an elderly couple who advised us of a very nice restaurant for our lunch and they also helped us to avoid one of the tunnels and continue our journey along the side of the lake which was really splendid.
really cool. We went to a 7-Eleven, entered a location code into a mobile app, and it opened a little drawer with the key in it. Very straightforward, and actually the shopkeeper was also very helpful in explaining the way that the system works. And now we are upstairs to the third floor, I think. Oh, that's a lovely kitchen and a very nice living area and balcony too. Yeah. Bedroom through here. Very nice. And bathroom with shower and also a washing machine. Very convenient. There was a train station less than five minutes walk from the apartment and for the equivalent of three pounds we were able to get a ticket the few stops into the city centre to do our customary sightseeing.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to follow the rest of our trip and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.